because we got to Would I ever say no to you? Thank you. So remember, they're running over here, so you got to get... Where are they running from? The university. So, they're on the north side? No, they're... George, are those the students? I think so. See that I apologize. George just asked me to videotape for him, so I'll stand here. Is that okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, good. Sorry, I didn't see it. Okay, Torch Champion students, a little bit forward here. Just move up 10 feet. The four. Four of you. Ladies, move up a bit. Hey, baby. I did. Oh, you got to take this for one second, please. You think this is cold? Wait till noon of it in October. <laughs> this is summer, man. <laughs> This is my husband, Alex. Hi, Pretty Silver. Hi. An absolute Hi. pleasure. I've heard lots about you. This is a friend of mine. I'm with you with the winter bag. How's everybody doing? Freezing? Hi. <laughs> and just to think, this is the season opener for the Toronto Blue Jays, the Detroit Tigers tonight, the Rogers Center. Well, we're a few minutes behind. Thank you very much for being patient. We are about to officially kick off the SOS 4000 Student Torch Champion Awards. We are about to pass the torch from two of our finest athletes in the country. So we'll be making our way over to City Hall. That will be Committee Room 2. We will be uh, broadcasting live around the world podcast, webcast. Japan, China... Australia, so we got a big day planned here. I think uh, the two athletes are almost there. It'll be uh, running the torch it from university. Are you comfortable with this? Yeah. Okay, because they're going to be coming soon. Uh, two of our uh, Canadian Olympic champions apparently are still stuck in traffic. This is what Toronto is all about. So <laughs> maybe they might still make it. Tavia Charles and Priscilla Lopez. Lopes? Lopes? Okay. Sure. See, they should have taken TTC, right? They would have been here. <laughs> Where are they, Where are they running from? from? The here. The university. Very so kind of cut okay. this for so uh, okay, once gotcha. the uh, athletes arrive, everybody make lots of noise, okay? This is for TV2. We're also going to YouTube everything today, by the way. This is going to be very exciting.
We'd also like to acknowledge right now, uh, there's a um, young gentleman out of St. John, New Brunswick, his name is Robin Roca, and he desperately needs bone marrow transplant. So this is why we're focusing on uh, soft tissue donation, organ donation, of course, bone marrow transplant patient as well. Very important day today. Robin Roca from St. John, New Brunswick, could make it. We also have some great entertainment lined up for you as well. We've got Liberty Silver, the fabulous Cunningham sisters. They also played for uh, U.S. President Obama. A dream for real will also be uh, entertaining as well at City Hall. They will be selling in their CD as well, the proceeds going towards. The SOS, the Americas campaign. Okay. The torch is lit. And the runners are at the mark. And they are up. <laughs> the runners are here. They'll be here probably. How long does it take to run two blocks in Toronto? Let's see. Five minutes, two minutes. Okay. Toronto, we have departed. Yes. Elvis has left the building, so the Olympians will be here momentarily. We will be welcoming Canadian Olympic champions Justin Justfly Darlington. Check him out on YouTube. You should see this guy uh, slam dunk a, a basketball. Unbelievable. Just keep Future it gold medals from high it jump. I know. 12 in London. It must be fun going on a date with this lady, Avital Zeisler, world-renowned certified self-defense instructor. She has taught the New York SWAT team. If you can take her, you can date her, guys. <laughs> That's the criteria. Gotta love spring in Toronto. April the 6th, what is it? Windshield factor, what, 30? Minus 30 or something like that? For a couple days, we could have gone skating over there at Nathan Pope Square. For a bit of incentive, we'll show them the chip truck, right? They'll be here real quick. Also like to thank very much the Sheridan Center Toronto for their kind donations for putting up the rooms. They put a lot of the expenses for this weekend. Thank you very much, Sheridan. You've done us proud.